सो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर होस्ट अमरबीर एंड यू आर वॉचिंग चंडीगढ़ डाटा रिकवरी यूट्यूब चैनल टूडेज डिस्कशन एंड वीडियो इज अबाउट सोनी कैमरा फॉर्मेटेड एस डी कार्ड डेटा रिकवरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड सम से इट इज पॉसिबल सम से इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल वॉट इज द रियालिटी एक्चुअली and uh, how can we do that data recovery let's uh, talk a little bit about this entire uh, sony camera data recovery process okay so now what is happening that when we are uh, taking videos or photographs from a sony camera all these modern m3 type cameras and we put the sd card inside the camera and we format it so what happens what happens is that it resets the card in such a way that each sector of the card becomes zero i mean if you take the card and put it into a card reader then what is going to happen if you use some advanced data recovery tool and you view the uh view the product sector by sector you will notice that uh, each sector is zero so when each sector of the sd card is zero no data recovery software on planet earth basically a software in which you recover your data is not able to do this data recovery it is impossible for that tool to do the data recovery of such a card if the card is like low level formatted and the card is entirely zero so what is the process of doing sony data recovery sony formatted sd card data recovery okay so what actually has to be done that let me give you an example of one of my customers mr arvind k gupta he has sent me this card long time ago and possibly he is thinking that uh, i am not recovering his data but today i will like to explain him plus all the other people in the world why this particular recovery is not possible as of now let me try and open up his card okay it was put into this box by me i have some literature over here where i have uh, you know taken the pin out of this entire card because i had done some r and d on the pin out also let me attend this call and i'll come back again okay so the phone was attended and i am back with the magnifying glass and that particular card of mr arvin this is a very common card that many of you people will recognize this is a card from sony and very commonly this is being sold in the market as of now there are other cards also one of it is the sandis which has a 16 into 2 pattern inside it i'll do a separate video on that but this is what i plan to do today now if you see the card from the front side like this in this section of the card this side you have one code written it says v60 is written on the top v60 uh reading it says 277 uh, mb per second writing 150 mb per second it's a 64 uh, gb card and the code that i am talking about on the right down below is written as sf-m64 sf-m64 there are certain important uh, markings at the back also like it says c cg64 g2042 and then we have another line made in taiwan card is empty i have removed the internal logic card of this now we were discussing 
how data recovery is possible in such kind of formatted cards with Sony cameras. Okay, so I'm shooting the next clip now, sitting very comfortably chatting with you guys. See, the process is that you remove the circuit from the SD card, bypass the controller and directly access the NAND memory, the memory of the SD card, which basically has all your content still preserved the way you had actually clicked it in spite of all the sectors showing zero to you. So to do that, what you need to do, circuit is out and then you are going to take it under a microscope. You are going to find out the technological pins, uh, signal pins, input output pins, the voltage pins and then you are going to wire them all up into a, into a kind of an adapter and then you will put that adapter into the uh, you know the reader specialized uh, physical data recovery uh, readers so I had prepared Mr. Arvind's card uh, similarly the way I am explaining you here is the card wired up on the uh, adapter and then the adapter has these pins which will go on to it like this and ultimately then we are going to bypass the controller and we are going to read. Now just imagine how complex this particular circuit work is and doing such microelectronic soldering. You can't do these solderings with general soldering stations. You have to do these solderings with specialized miniature uh, uh, soldering stations. You have to use a microscope and your hands have to be stable. You don't have to be sick and then only you can wire this up. So this is a monolithic chip means that we are not able to see the processor and the nano memory separately. In certain, car, certain cards we are and uh, but in this we have these golden golden pads right below this area where I have wired all these technological pinouts to the adapter. Okay. So all said and done this process which is pretty complicated once this is over then what we need to do next is that we need to put this adapter like I explained you earlier into a, pro, uh, into a reader and then read the entire NAND memory code into the computer. After the code is read, we need to do error correction of the code. In certain uh, uh, controllers, you need to do XOR and then ECC and in certain controllers you have to do ECC. Let me explain you this. All these cards, uh, let me make another clip by the way. So all these cards that you see, once you read the memory, you don't see the data the way you have stored it. You, you see it in a, in a very complex bit stream kind of uh, a bit pattern. Uh, kind of a, a visual uh, output to you and uh, each page like we have in a hard drive sector each we in the memories we have page each page and multiple pages in the block they are all garbled up encrypted with a special key and that key is called an XOR key so the first step is that when you read a chip, these are modern chips, they have a lot of bit errors. Bit error means whatever you have stored, that is not what you are reading. The controller is capable enough of, uh, you know, correcting those errors on the fly. But as of now, because we have bypassed the controller totally, we have to do that error correction using the power of our desktop or laptop computer. Now here is where all the problems come up. So this error correction, I'm not talking about XOR, I'm talking about XOR encryption, I'm talking about error correction now. Error correction in these SD cards are done using different mathematical formulas and one very 
लेटेस्ट मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला इज एल डी पी सी टाइप ऑफ एरर करेक्शन दिस एरर करेक्शन यू नो इज नॉट सपोर्टेड बाई एनी ऑफ द थ्री टूल्स दैट एग्जिस्ट इन दी वर्ल्ड टू डू दिस काइंड ऑफ जॉब एज ऑफ टूडे टूडे इज थर्टी सेवन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू I don't know about the future whether they will crack it or not. But as of today, if you have LDPC ECC error correction inside a particular uh, SD card because the controller is not so using the older uh, BCH kind of uh, error correction mathematical formula, but the new latest LDPC error correction formula, you cannot do recovery of these cards. No way. Why? because the cards have so many bit errors so many errors in the reading process that without error correction you cannot cannot correct it and because of that reason you cannot assemble the data the way you have to present it to your client if you try to do this in a photograph like a jpeg jpeg will be garbled up if you try videos videos will play in a very random random kind of a way so it's quite a pain that you have to stop the process after doing so much of labor in the process so arvind ji i wanted to tell you that this particular card that you have sent me this sony card this card does not use bch and the older uh, type of uh, error correction in the nand memory unfortunately this uses ldpc and because of this ldpc we are not able to recover the data I hope this video of mine is going to be very useful for photographers if they actually follow. I have tried to explain you everything in a non-technical uh, manner by explaining you whatever the process is. But this video is not over yet. Uh, I am going to go back into my house today, and then I am going to fire up Arvindji's case there in the uh, product that I. tried this recovery and then i am going to show you what processes we did uh, along with the developer to try to get data from this but unfortunately there are so many bit errors that this case cannot be done as of now yes after <coughs> excuse me few months or after one year few years or might be never in their life if they are not able to figure out ldpc we will not be able to do these cases so let's go into the tool and see what are the steps that i did to figure this out